Welcome. In a previous video, I went over the procedure to rip audio CDs to lossless audio using, using Windows Media Player. And in this video, we're going to use a bash shell using Windows Services for Linux to convert the lossless audio to AAC. So a prerequisite this, to this is to install Windows Services for Linux, and I'll put a link in the description to that. Once you do that, you can go down to your search here and type in bash and it will open up a Linux shell. So it puts me in the uh, mount C Windows System32 directory. I need to type cd space dot dot slash dot dot slash and that will take me down two directories. Then I'll type cd space users and that's with a couple, an uppercase U. And then I'll type my username which is Rick and that will put me in my home directory. So within the home directory we have a music folder. Let me show that. So we have a music folder. We can create a new directory here, mkdir space music underscore AAC. So that will be where I'll store the AAC music. So what we'll have is we have the lossless audio in the main music folder, and then we'll create a second folder with the AAC music with the same folder structure. So next you'll need to go to a link I'll put in the description. This is on my website. There's a script I have it's a shell script. You can copy this. And I'll right click and say copy. And then I'll go back into my shell and I'll type in nano convert underscore to underscore AAC dot SH. And that will open up a text editor and I can right click in there and it will paste in this script. So let's just go over what this has in it real quick. It, the first lines here uh, just denote that it's a shell script. The set E works with, so if you hit control C, it will kill the script. If you have the, don't have this in here, if you hit control C, it will just kill whatever FFmpeg process is running. And this talks about the usage of the script. And this area here um, changes the directory so they're uh, more normalized. This line here finds all of the flack or lossless, uh, Apple lossless audio files, and it passes it to this loop. And this loop will create the directory and convert the file. So a prerequisite for this is FFmpeg, so I'll walk through getting that installed when we get this script closed. Uh, the FFmpeg, we're going to say hide banner, which will hide um, kind of like the version information and stuff. And then dash i is input, and then we have the file, which will be the lossless audio dash C colon A is the codec and we're going to be using the AAC codec and then dash B colon A is the bitrate and we're going to have 192k so you can change this you can increase or decrease it depending on what you want and then we have the new file here you'll notice we put these in quotes uh, in case there are spaces and then we have less than dev null and this was um, to keep um, standard input from flowing into FFmpeg and causing bugs so now to save this, I'll type control O and I'll hit enter and then I'll type control X to exit out. And then I have a video on installing FFmpeg and there's a couple ways to do it. For what we're doing here, we need to install it within Windows services for Linux. So we'll type in sudo space app space install space FFmpeg. And then you hit enter and this will ask for your password. And I already have it installed on here. So once we have that installed, then we can run this script. But before we do that, we have to type in chmod space plus space and then the name of our script. That'll make it executable. So I should be able to execute this now and it will tell us what we need to um, do to make it work. So I'll run this again, but this time I'll have the first directory be music and the second directory be the music underscore AAC. And when I run this, it will go through and encode all of this to AAC. Now if we go into our file explorer and click on the um, home directory, you'll see we have the music AAC folder here. If we double click on it, you'll see the Taylor Swift folder and inside that will be the reputation album and inside that we'll see the AAC files. So if you hit control C while this is running, 
it will stop the execution. So then you'll want to go into your music and find the last file it was encoding. Looks like it was called Don't Blame Me. And we'll click on this and we'll delete it. So this script, if we run it again, it will start off where it um, was last time. But that when you stop it in the middle of a, encoding a song, it'll screw up that song. So we delete that one song and we run it, and it will pick up where it left off. So this is going to take a while. I don't want to make you sit through all this. But, um, once we have this all done, we'll have this folder with music AAC in it. And then you could copy this over to, say, a flash drive and plug it into your car's USB port. You could plug it into the back of a TV or a receiver that has USB input. You could load it to an MP3 player, um, different things like that. So, because this retains the lossless audio. So you could take your lossless audio at this point and then copy it onto a flash drive or a very large SSD and then store it somewhere and then just keep the compressed versions on your hard drive. So, so that's the basics of using a you know, Bash shell to convert lossless audio to AAC. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.